Alright guys, this is just a quick tutorial on the YTEC uh, registration error and how to deal with that. After you've installed YTEC on your computer or tablet or whatever, you want to open up the file explorer and you want to go to wherever you installed the, the program. So for me it's in uh, on my C drive and then you go to your program files x86 for me and then I'm going to open up DCC tools then the YTEC folder and then the client folder and then you want to scroll down to this app config file and then what you want to do is copy that and then save it to anywhere like save it to your documents let me open up another window here alright and then we'll go to my documents and I had already saved it here so then what you want to do is open it with uh, notepad or wordpad so we're gonna open it with notepad and then it opens up to this and you want to scroll down until you get to the header for verification. All right. Then, once you get there, you're going to go down to the, the, the third property, property one, property two, property three here, and it says name verification. Now, this is the verification uh, number value. You want to highlight that very first let, uh, number and you want to change it. You want to change it to be any number except for six. I've chosen two. After you do that, you want to save the file and then you can X out of it. And then you can copy that. and then X out of this folder and then you want to paste it back into here and you want to replace the file in that destination continue alright now that's complete now you can X out of this now you should be able to open up the YTEC application you might still get a verification or registration error, but you can just X out of it and go past it. Yep. X out of it. And if you're not on the most up-to-date software, it will probably ask you if you want to update to the newest version. I don't want to update, so I'm going to just click update later. And now you can uh, click on your vehicle, and it brings you to this page. Now, from here, you can e either work offline, if you don't have to do any flashing or anything like that, you can just work offline, or if you want to do flashing, you have to uh, change the server here to iTech, or to Tech Authority, and you'll need an email address and a password for that. Now, to get that, you go to the Tech Authority website <clears throat> and you want to make yourself an account and after you make the account <clears throat> excuse me after you get the account you want to get an online subscription now you can get a one day subscription a three day subscription a seven day uh, a, a 30 day I mean three month six month one year one year multiple users. Uh, what we normally do is get the one day subscription if we're just doing a, the ABS configuration for ourselves or for somebody else. We just get that uh, one day configuration. Uh, what I do a lot personally is if I get a, uh, I try to get as many people as I can that need some kind of uh, module updates or flashes and I'll get a three day subscription and then we'll meet up on a weekend and do all of them at once. Uh, but most times we just get the one day subscription. So you would get that as soon as you uh, pay for that. It's active for the one day time period. 
and you'll have you use your uh, email and password from that in here all right so you'll put that in there and then you will click finish down there and then that should bring you to the main page for your your vehicle then and all of the updates should uh, well shouldn't I say should but they will automatically show up so let's just let, let's uh, pick a module here ABS I guess since it's relative If there are any uh, flashes available or updates, it'll automatically show up. Or you can uh, go through all this stuff and see the different uh, options that there are for this thing. Or you can go to these menus down here, Diagnostic Procedures. Uh, restore vehicle uh, configuration there's also customer preferences vehicle preparations all kinds of neat stuff in there to do but uh, yeah that's how you get to that point and then do whatever you need to do after that so if you have any questions please ask uh, there are a few of us there on the group that uh, do this regularly and are more than happy to help you out so if you have any questions, just ask. All right, thanks.